I'm back! So I got back from PAX yesterday and I'm actually kind of glad. I'm just really tired. <laughs> so much going on. I just got so exhausted and man, it was such a great experience. I can't even begin to just to describe like all the stuff that happened. So I even wrote it in a little booklet of mine and I don't think I can even get through all of this because I want to make a shorter video. I don't want to go on too long and I tend to go off and talk about other things all the time. So like, I'm just gonna start. Here we go, I'm gonna talk about what happened. As you know, I kind of like been teasing about what I was gonna do, or I said I was gonna dress up for PAX and I didn't tell anybody what it was, only my closest friends would know about it. What I ended up dressing up as was a little sister from Bioshock and I know, but it's been done so many times, countless times, but I wanted to do it with a twist and I think you know what's gonna come up. Uh, I decided that I was going to make a big daddy balloon. And I decided this back in April when I think that was around the time I made or just finished making the slow bro balloon. And this was for Fan Expo. After that, I was like, oh my God, I, I should bring something to PAX. And what should I bring? And I kept thinking about what I could make. And Big Daddy Balloon has always been the, something that I've been interested in making. It's, it's just that it would have been so overwhelming, or it was a very overwhelming, and I was really hesitant to do it. But I'm like, okay, I have a lot of time to plan. I have a lot of time to figure it out, figure out a plan to get it together and I mean the other thing is I wouldn't be making the balloon in my own home and it, I don't know it would just be kind of out of my element what I ended up doing was I was I made the balloon in my hotel room over you know three days like we got to Seattle on Thursday night started it on Thursday worked on it a lot on Friday night and then finished it on Saturday morning, or ran Saturday morning. It drove me a little crazy. Uh, my roommates would know, and like it was really cool though, because a few of them were helping me like blow up balloons and stuff, and that way I was able to just like focus on how to make a big daddy out of balloons. So I, I mean, if there, if you guys are watching, thanks so much for helping me blow up those balloons like it does really mean a lot to me and I know that squeaking probably was really annoying but thanks for putting up with me <laughs> um, but yeah it was really nice of them and it all came together um, my friend Christy she is an awesome costume maker person I, I don't even know I'm really bad with this but like she finally put my costume together pretty much the same time I finished the balloon. It's funny how that all came together at the last minute. Because the plan was to cosplay on a Saturday. Way back in April I wanted to cosplay on the Friday, like the first day. But then I had to be realistic with it and I had to think, well, I'm going to need a lot of time to make this stuff, get everything together. And I also want to experience packs, you know, just to walk around and try games, see cosplayers and stuff. Uh, I knew if I made a big daddy balloon, I would have to carry it around all the time. And I was only gonna do that for one day. What I ended up doing was I did end up doing it um, for two days, the, fr uh, the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, it turned out really great. I'm really, really, really happy with how it turned out. So I have to say the highlight of my pack experience was getting a chance to talk to some of the some really cool people um, as I was dressing up and I even got to I got to do a few interviews and I got to do uh, some contests uh, cosplay contests and like I've never done that before I've never actually been in that world like I've always dressed up for Halloween and you know parties and stuff but I've never actually been part of the cosplay world like I've never gone to come conventions dressed up so this is my first year doing it and I was a little scared I was a little worried about how everything was gonna turn out but honestly people were so nice and very respectful of my balloon and they seemed to really like it and people were taking pictures so, so I was really really glad it turned out so well so at some point um, I had to give the balloon away because I couldn't take it on the bus, or I can't take it on the bus, I just know 
that I can't. Um, because it's a giant balloon sculpture. It's not going to fit in the bus. It's going to make people uncomfortable. And it's not going to last forever anyway. So what I ended up doing was my boyfriend and I decided that we should just give it away to somebody. And um, I wasn't really sure how we were going to do it. I thought like maybe just at the end of the day we'll just like, hey, we're giving it away and just pass it to whoever or someone suggested like I auction it off or something, but I didn't want to do that. A, an, a friend suggested giving the balloon to one of the game developers um, or you know like the major companies that might really like it and we end up choosing 2k games because they were pretty stoked about it and I mean they helped you know produce Bioshock and all, all three games and I also met I also met some people uh, who worked there and they were saying how much they liked the balloon. So it seemed like a good fit. I felt like it was a good idea to give it to 2K. When I suggested it to them, I told them the idea that I was gonna give it away. They end up bringing me onto the stage desk thing they have, like a panel or something, and they were doing a live stream um, on Twitch. Ended up having to talk on the live stream. Um, they wanted to ask me questions about it, about myself, and I just like, I was so nervous. It was, it, I've never experienced anything like that before, so it was like pretty nerve wracking, but at the same time, it was so exciting and such a cool opportunity to get to talk to them and I guess kind of get people to notice my balloon work. So I was pretty stoked about that. Um, if you want to check that out, if you want to check out the interview, you can go onto Twitch and um, they should have it on the archives and stuff. So I'll link it at the bottom if you're interested in seeing that interview. So cool. And we end up giving it to a lovely lady who answered a trivia question. I got to take a picture with her and it was pretty cool. And what else? Got to play games on the last day. Got to try out some really cool stuff like tabletop games. There was this really cool game called I think The Last Day on Earth. And it's like a zombie survival game, like a card game, board game um, thing. And I think it was done by Flying Frog Productions. And they do a lot of these kind of weird games. And I actually really enjoyed it. It, it kind of plays off like all those different like zombie films that, you know, they're out there. I thought it was really cool that it was a board game, a new take on it. I checked out the mega indie booth section and that was really cool. There's some games that interest me. There was one game called Gravity Ghost that I thought was a beautiful game. It was gorgeous and the art was really cool um, and an interesting concept. So like basically you gravitate around these planets and you have to collect like points and stars and open unlock different worlds and you just keep going and I thought it was a cool idea. So that's the kind of game that's maybe something I'm look, gonna look into and Rose? Rose? Yeah, I think Rose is how you pronounce it. R-E-U-S. Um, it's actually a game that came out back in May of this year. I, I think it's already on Steam and it's like 10 bucks. Play as like a god and you get to like manipulate the nature around you, which is pretty cool, I think. So I'm gonna look into that. I've already knew about it, but I, I mean, I was still like, hmm, should I or should I not? But after I, I got to talk to the artist and he really sold it to me. He even gave me a poster which he signed, which um, I thought was really cool and he was really nice. Yeah, so there's that and oh my gosh, so much more, so much happened. I tried to do as much as I can, but it's just, there's just not enough days to cover everything. So, but I had so much fun and I wanted to make this vlog and tell you about my experience and I know I've been like talking about PAX forever leaving up to this moment and and now it's over. But you know what? It won't be the last because I definitely will go back to PAX next year, like bigger and better. I think I'm going to dress up again for sure, but I'm just excited. I'm just excited to be part of the experience and stuff, so yes. I guess that's all I'll talk about now if I missed anything. I'm, I have some pictures if you want to check out that I'll post um, somewhere. It will, I'll figure it out. But right now I'm just like so tired, you know, getting my stuff together. And I have to go back to school tomorrow and I have to go get back to work. So, yep, 
back to the real world, but it Pax will not be forgotten. Ugh, it was great. So thanks for watching, um, and I hope you liked my video. I'll see you guys around. Okay. Bye.